Hey everybody, it's Eric from the Mature Minded Gamers. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your very own Pixel Arc dedicated server. This is to host on a machine, not to host and play. Uh, you'll run into issues if you try to do that. So this is if you have like a spare laptop or a server or something that you want to host a dedicated server that's always on. This is how you do it. This is going to be using Steam CMD. And first thing we need to do is download that if you don't already have it. Just go to Google, type in Steam CMD. You can just click this first link right here. I'll put a link in the description for this and for my website, which we'll use here in a second. Click on the Windows, because we're going to do it for Windows right here. And then this download Steam for Windows, click on that. You're going to download it, hit File, Save As, hit OK. And then once it's done, you're going to actually open it. You're going to right click on it, hit Extract All. Yep, yep, extract all, there we go. And then it's going to, wherever you extract it, you're going to have a folder, right? Here's mine. And the only thing you're going to have in it is Steam CMD. I recommend you don't leave it in your downloads folder. I recommend you copy this. And then I would paste it somewhere where you can always find it. Um, I put mine right into my C drive root. I've already done right here. As you can see right here is mine. So just paste it in there if you don't already have it there. And then go inside of it. And you're only going to have your Steam CMD if this is the first time you've ran it. Double click on it, it's going to download some files and fill up your folder here. Uh, once you get to the Steam prompt, uh, you need to type in login space anonymous. Hit enter. And then you're going to do an app underscore update. And then the ID number for Pixel Arc, the dedicated server, is 7472848. And then you hit enter. And I've already done this. So it's already updated it for me. I told you the wrong number. My apologies. It's app underscore update space 824360. Hit enter. And it, mine says success. I've already done it. If this is the first time you've downloaded it, it's going to download all the files. And it's going to take a while depending on your internet speed. Um, and this is also how you update the server. So if they put out a new patch for the server, you just go through these beginning steps. You know, obviously you already have Steam CMD, but you just launch it right here and then you type in the app ID again and hit enter and it will download any updates. Once it's completely done, just type in exit, hit enter. Now you should have a Steam Apps folder here. Go into it, go into common, go into your Pixel Arc dedicated server. And then you're gonna see files here. You wanna go into shooter game and then you want to go into binaries win64 and here you go so here is actually where you launch the server this pixar server.exe except you need to launch it through a dot bat and so i've already made the dot bat right here i named it pixel arc start server dot bat and if you look at it here you see there's quite a bit of code it launches the server and the world it has you can change max players right here you can change it from the default port the both of the default ports you can change the Archon. This is where you name your server right here. Session name. This is where you put in your server password. If you want to put a password in there. If you don't, just leave it blank. Uh, you can turn on Battle Eye. You need to have this no Steam client in there and all this stuff right here at the end you want in there. Um, and to make this easy, what I'm going to do is on our website, let me show you real quick. Go to MatureMindedGamers.com. It's going to look like this. I will put a link in the video description and then over on the left hand side you'll see I have a tab here called server files click on that and then you'll see I have from the different servers I've done you want to do the pixel arc one right here um, I do ask that you please subscribe to me on either YouTube or Twitch before you access my files um, it's it's you know just to help me I spend a lot of time making these videos and your support is really appreciated um, but once you've got that done and you've hit that subscribe button click on pixel arc it's going to take you directly to my Dropbox you'll see there's the file right there you can either you can do a couple things you can write you can highlight it right click and hit copy and then paste it into your own dot bat file that you made or you can come over here and you don't have to sign in you can just click this little down arrow and hit direct download and then you hit no thanks continue to download you don't have to make an account again and then hit file save and that will actually save this whole file as a dot bat for you and once you have it saved you can just actually go in here there it is just right click on it and copy it and then this is the very important part. You have to put it into the folder right here, the Win64 folder, the folder that has the PicArc server.exe. So paste it in there, which you know I'm not going to do it because mine's right here. If it's not in that folder, it won't execute. So what you can do from here is you can right click on it and hit create shortcut if you want to put it somewhere else. 
and then put it on your desktop maybe. Um, but if it's not here, it, it can't execute this file for you. I, I kept it as simple as possible. Um, so once you do that, then you just double click on it and it's going to run the server. If you run into a .dll, a .dll error, which I did, you need to reinstall DirectX. So, re so go to Microsoft.com and just Google DirectX download and reinstall it and it fixed my problem for me. So here's my server right here, it's loading up. It's gonna take it a little bit. The first time it loads, it takes you know a little bit longer because it's generating the world. Uh, that's completely normal. Um, once it's done, you'll be, it, you know, it'll be a couple minutes, you'll be at a prompt. The, the easiest way to check this by far um, that, I've, that I've found is to go into Steam itself. So launch your Steam. All right, so launch your Steam. Then you want to go up here to view and go to servers. Then come up here, go to LAN, and then you should see your server here. So this is, you know, I didn't name it. I left it as your server name. Um, but whatever you put your server should be here and whatever your payer, your player and everything. Uh, that means your server's up and running. That way you know you're good to go. If you don't see it here, um, there's an issue. So either you don't you didn't open your ports correctly in your firewall router. That was another thing I forgot to mention. You have to open these ports that are in this dot bat right here. This 27016 and 27017 and 27015. Open all three of those ports in your router and firewall. And if you've never done it, I recommend Googling your router model because every model is different. You have to get those forwarded and then you have to open them also in your Windows firewall. So don't forget to do that. If you don't see it, that's almost guaranteed your issue or another server's occupying that port. Uh, one of the others, that's going to be your main issues. So hopefully this video helped you. Please do me a favor and hit that follow and like button. Post any questions or comments you have down below. Uh, if this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that it helped you out. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, have yourself a great day.